I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the 2024 National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Modeling. The purpose is to practice decision making while you develop your hand during the Charleston. When you first get your dealt hand, arrange your tiles in a way that's comfortable for you. I like to arrange them this way. Jokers, flowers, winds, dragons, then the suited tiles in numerical order. And that will help me get the lay of the land because the next step would be to target the strength of the hand. For American Mahjong, the strength of the hand is going to be multiples. Multiples are pairs, pungs, kongs, if you're so lucky to get one. Otherwise, multiples, identical tiles, start there. Gather supporting tiles and play a category that will use most of your tiles and do the best you can with the rest of your tiles to pass defensively. If you start with no multiples, target the predominant pattern. And then if a multiple forms during the Charleston, reassess and target the multiple. Gather supporting tiles and focus on a category that will use most of them. That is how you optimize hand development and you can set yourself up for success for the rest of the game. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. One. We're going to do this exercise three times. We're going to alternate between dealer and non-dealer. So we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, and then 14. And I will create a mock Charleston with no jokers for each one. We have a joker, flower, west, one, eight, nine, and dots, pair one. One, two, four, and bams, pair four. Five, seven, eight, and cracks. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would focus on the one and the four. A one and a four means consecutive. We need to join those though. We may not be able to use them. It depends on what's coming in. So I would hold all one, two, three, four, or maybe two, three, four, five. One of the things I was thinking is maybe we could even play a quint. One, four, two suits with a west. We have a joker. So we're left with seven, eight, nine. Now that's a little bit risky. So probably what I would do, I was thinking the five, but that would be just as risky. Although what we could do is pass five, seven, eight, and still hold one, two, four. Maybe we'll get a three. Let's see what happens. We got a flower. And a West, that Quint, West one, four. So here's a four, one, two, eight, nine flowers. We could do like numbers with ones or like numbers with fours. Let's let the two bam go. We got another West. I would play this Quint. Here's a one. With that Quint, you can't use the same suit. So we'll, we'll break it up. Okay, no, no keepers there. Let's pass these three. No keepers, but I would not pass like numbers. So I would keep that five. These maybe could be joker bait, although flowers are not good joker bait. If you wanna know more about joker bait, I have a lot of videos on them. I'll put a link in the video description below. 
so you can see how that joker tactic works. No keepers. We did get a four, but we've got this pun here. I would leverage that. Let's see. Let's do th let's do these three. No keepers. We can do three for the optional across. So we have four discards, joker bait, and a hand with no gaps. Quint, we could Kong, and then we would just need to build with or without jokers. I would say that was a pretty good result. It's a bit risky to play a Quint with no big multiples with your number tiles, but it would be fun if it worked. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write pull one, and describe what you would do with these tiles in the comment section below the video. We have a couple of flowers, White Dragon, Green Dragon, West, 2, 5, 6, 9 in BAMs, 7, 8, 9 in DOTS, and an 8 crack. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would try to do something with the flowers. We have a lot of six, seven, eight, nine. If I'm focused on a consecutive run and I have mixed suits, I use four numbers in a range around that predominant pattern. And since we have two nines and two eights, that would mean six, seven, eight, nine. So that's what I would focus on. Six, seven, eight, nine of some kind. So I would divvy out the dragons to mitigate risk. We got a flower. Okay, three flowers. Here's a one, two, three dragon. One, three dragon. We have six, nine, seven, eight, nine, three flowers. Maybe we could do that quint hand. Six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine, nine. It's pretty bleak, but there is potential there. We could also maybe do seven, eight, nine with a pair. Let's pass these three. It's a little bit risky, but you gotta focus on your hand development first and then do the best you can with what you have left over. And sometimes that means a risky pass. There's a nine crack. And now we have like numbers and a five dot. I would not pass like numbers, especially twos because of the year 2024. I would do one. Passing like numbers, in my opinion, is almost as risky as passing a pair. So what do we do with these tiles now? We have three flowers. We could do seven, eight, nine in one suit with a pair and let a flower go, or we can leverage to the nines. Maybe do, what about six, seven, eight in dots with these nines? Let's let the eight crack go and see what comes in. We have an eight bam. We could do six, seven, eight with nine crack, nine dot. Okay, now that, again, is gonna be a little bit risky, but we wanna optimize our own hand development first. We have a, we want six, seven, eight, nine, nine. So we can't use these. We have seven, eight and a six, eight. So let's let the seven go. Seven dot pair, seven, eight, nine. We're on last right, 
since we have a 7899, let's let the six go. See if we can get another keeper. We got a seven and now a pair of eights. Seven, eight, nine. Mixu Kongs. Seven, eight, nine. We have to let that go. The other thing we could do, let's see. Seven, eight, six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine. Maybe pass two, because we could do, we could still do six bam, seven, eight, six, seven, eight bam with nines. Use this as joker bait. Or we could do seven, eight, nine. Let's do two. We did get a seven. Oh, well this is interesting. We could do like numbers with sevens and four flowers. I would just keep all these tiles and see what develops. I think that was a pretty good Charleston. If you would do something differently with these tiles, describe what you would do in the comment section below the video with pull two. We have a flower, one, four, five, seven, nine in cracks, three, five, nine in dots, pair three, pair nine, two, six in bams with a pair of sixes. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would start with the multiples, three, nine, and a six. I would keep all three, six, nine. Look at all those tiles. Let's pass two, five, seven. Okay, so we got a three. I would just hold every three, six, nine, and don't even look at the card, just gather. We may or may not be able to use a dragon, 369 dragon, maybe. Let's pass 147. A six. We have three tiles to pass. I think I would let this go at this point. We have a pung of sixes in there. Let's pass these three. Two twos and a dragon. I would, let's see here. I would break out the twos. Oh my goodness, another one. We went right across left, left, we're going across. So this goes to somebody else, thankfully. A flower. Here's east. Two, eight, east two, eight. We have three, three, six, nine flower, mixed suit Kongs, nine crack. We could maybe make this a little better by letting the nine crack go. Oh goodness, look what we got. Three, six, nine. Here's a, a six, three, six, lots of three, six, nine, five, eight. I would use the flowers. Three, six, nine. There's a hand right there. I would pass three. No keepers. Joker bait, three discards, and a hand with no gaps. Three, six, nine, number three, mixed suits.
that was a great result. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, describe what you would do in the comment section below with pull three. American Mahjong is a very flexible game and you can make just about anything work with the right decisions at the right time. For American Mahjong, targeting multiples is the optimal way to play this game because you need multiples in your hand. Every hand on the card uses them. When you first get your dealt hand, look for multiples and target them. Let those drive the decisions that you make for the hand. Gather supporting tiles and then focus on a category that uses most of them and then do your best defensively with the remaining tiles. That is how you optimize your winning potential in American Mahjong. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.